Spirit Junkies, welcome back. This is a topic that is very dear to my heart. It is something that I have to address often because I am a yeser. I'm actually a recovering yeser and I have spent many years working on the word no. And I'm not sure if you identify as a yeser. If there's people that you want to please, uh, do you have a hard time saying no? Do you find yourself overextending yourself to make sure other people are happy and not taking care of your own needs? Well, if you answered yes to any of those questions, then you are a yeser. And in my own experiences, I've found that saying yes to something that I didn't want to do or something that I couldn't necessarily do because I was overextending myself becomes a snowball of negativity and chaos. Because inevitably what happens is, is that I resent the party involved for actually saying yes. I resent myself for saying yes. And I don't show up at my highest capacity. I don't bring my A game to whatever it is that I agreed to do. Um, and even recently, I just said yes to something. And I had a really beautiful experience of walking into a nonprofit organization that I absolutely love and adore. And the answer with them is always yes, because I want to support them and I love their work. It is such amazing work. And so they presented something to me kind of out of the blue and immediately I said yes and immediately I started throwing all these ideas at them and I started over promising everything. And I walked out of the building and my entire body shut down. I started to clench, I started to feel tight, I started to feel anxious, I felt like I wanted to throw up. That night I couldn't sleep, I was up all night thinking about how I had said yes right before my new book Miracles Now comes out. I've got all these new events that I'm promoting and I'd said yes to something in the midst of this very chaotic time. And so I listened to my body and so it was less than 24 hours later and it was four o'clock in the morning and I wrote an email to the entire group that I'd met with the day before and I said, I'm sorry everybody, I'm a yes sir, I love you all and I wanna support you all but I'm not gonna be supporting anybody by bringing anything but my A game to the table. So I'm sorry to disappoint you but I gotta let this go. And that experience was transformational for me. Just very quickly, once I recognized in my body this isn't sitting well, once I witnessed that anxiety come over, I just cleaned it up. And so that's the first step into changing this pattern. It's not easy immediately to stop saying yes, but at least once you notice that you've made that yes in the wrong direction, you can redirect quickly. And then the goal ultimately is to start to really get into the practice of saying no and trusting that no is the more loving response when you are not gonna be able to serve at your highest. And so I suggest no be the default unless yes is a hell yes. I'm gonna quote my friend Marie Forleo and she says, if it's not a hell yes, it's a hell no. So take that very seriously and, and really start to tap into your own body. What does a hell yes feel like? and what does a no feel like? And start to use your energy as a navigation device for learning when to say no. I hope this serves you. If you have any stories, feel free to share them below. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I wanna hear from you. And I also really hope that this helps you start to get into the practice of tuning in with what works for you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Satnam.